Hello and welcome to a very quick video about something that's awesome. Now, I've been aware of various coding languages. I even teach the, um, uh, the most common ones to pupils young and old, but I've come across one which is really interesting called Rockstar. And Rockstar allows you to code like a rock star. So let's have a quick look at it. So you can see here, this is the web page, codewithrockstar.com, and I'll leave the link in the description for you to have a go yourself. But what's special about this coding language is that you code like you're writing a rock song, and it's so cool. It's a bit tricky to get your head round to start with, but once you grasp the basics, and uh, learn to be a bit creative with your words, you can produce some pretty awesome things. Let me show you. So I'm on the Rockstar website and it gives us an example here. Probably doesn't mean a lot to you, um, but it's really well documented. So if we go onto the docs, you can go through it bit by bit, but you can create variables, you can create lists and loops and functions. Awesome, really awesome, all within lyrics to a rock song. Um, if we go to try it, this will allow you to try uh, and write code yourself and hit run or hit rock, let's rock in this case, and it will run your code. So it gives us an example piece of code. Rockstar is a big bad monster, shout Rockstar. So when I run it or rock it, um, it produces 1337. Now to me, that makes sense having read the documentation and playing around with it, but for you guys, probably not. So let me quickly explain. Rockstar is the variable that's been created. Is means we're going to assign that uh, variable a value or something, okay? What we're gonna give it, uh, in this case, a big bad monster. A, that's one, as in a single letter. Big has three letters, as does bad. And monster, yeah, you guessed it, has seven. So we've got one, three, three, seven, assigned to the rock star variable. And then the next line is, shout the rock star. So we're displaying uh, or shouting um, what is stored within that variable. So when we rock, we can, um, we get that value one, three, three, seven. You can split that into arrays, which is, which is really cool. So we can take that 1337 and put each digit into an array. So we can use the word like shatter or split. Uh, we can shatter rockstar, shatter rockstar into pieces. So pieces is gonna be uh, the, the array's name. And then when we can, we can shout pieces or we can say pieces or another word in for our lyrics, we could uh, whisper pieces. So let's whisper, whisper pieces. Okay. And when I rock or run it, I get one, three, three, seven from before, but I get four this time. So what's happened is it's split that one, three, three, seven into separate, um, separate items within that list or, an, or array. And when we tell it to um, whisper pieces, that remember we named our array pieces, it just gives us back the number of items in our list, hence four items. So that's why we're seeing the four. And once you start reading the documentation and start playing around, you can do all sorts, create functions, as I said, loops, um, if statements, it's, it is a coding language and it's brilliant. So I decided, let's see how far I can push it. And I wrote a rock song of my own. And the song is about a bank robbery. Okay, um, it was well, not the best written lyrics. Um, you can write a program and get it working, but it, the lyrics, the words don't actually make a lot of sense. So I'm trying to make the lyrics more, uh, more readable. So they are a more, a, more a convincing set of lyrics rather than just some random random um, words that resemble 
uh, phrases or words that you might find in a, in a rock song. So I wrote my song with uh, uh, about a bank robbery. And when you put it <laughs> into this window and hit rock, it actually gives you a, a little game where you have to guess the combination to the bank's safe of the bank that they're robbing in the song. I know, it's so cool. So we've got a song, a rock song about a bank robbery. And when we run the lyrics, we've got the game of trying to crack the bank's safe combination. I'm not going to tell you the combination, but I'll leave the lyrics in the comments for you to cut and paste in and run yourself. You can cheat. You can go through the code and see if you can actually work out what the combination is. That would be a very good exercise to see how well you know rock, the Rockstar code after you've read up and uh, practice with it a little bit. But then, knowing me, I went one further, went on to uh, Suno AI. So this is an AI that you can give it lyrics and the style of a uh, style of song that you want, and it will come and it will package everything up. So now I've got my lyrics uh, to music being sung in the style of heavy rock and when you run it when when you run the lyrics it gives you a game and that's very cool so without further ado ladies and gentlemen i give you the bank job and you'll see also what happens when we run the code rock on and rock out